Yeah, that's beer, all right. You recognize it anywhere. Hi, hello. I am Alex Whitlow. Welcome to another installment, the second installment, in fact, of Between Two Fermenters, uh, in which I will delve deep into the seedy underbelly of Ontario's craft brewing industry, asking those hard-hitting questions that others are afraid to ask, and having a few beers while I do it. Now, we're joined today by the newest president of the OCB, that is the Ontario Craft Brewers Association, Bo Bridges. Thank you for that kind introduction. I guess I showed up at the wrong time. Sorry, it's, I, my producer's telling me it's actually uh, Scott Simmons, but you can imagine the confusion. You probably get it all the time. It's great to have you here, Scott. Scotty, can I call you Scotty? Absolutely, all my right. mom does. Oh, that's cute. All right, Scotty. Uh, before we get too deep into this, I think this calls for a beer break. Now, you may have noticed I've already <laughs> indulged a little myself, but uh, sharing is uh, what uh, craft beer is all about. So I'm just going to, well, it's about other things too, but sharing's pretty up there, mm -hmm. I'd like to think. Ooh, I'm <laughs> one of the best in the biz at the pours. Wow. Now, I'll get you a fresh one, don't you worry. Now, this, of course, is the Sunnyside Session IPA, released just recently. Well, what's with the size of my glass? It's an optical illusion. It's just my hands are large. Oh, okay. It's perspective. The camera, you know, Thank uh, you. takes away 10 ounces or whatever they say. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Mmm. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, a little about our friend uh, Sunnyside Session IPA. Sunnyside Session IPA, available now at your local LCBO, grocery store, decent bar, hopefully. Uh, is a full flavored yet restrained IPA. Now session is just an industry term for basically you can have a few of them and not ruin your evening plans. Session simply implies that there is less body, less alcohol. So this bad boy right here, though brimming with citrusy flavors, aromas, is but a modest 3.9% alcohol. I could have about a thousand of these if no one cut me off. Beautiful graphics, great description. Ah shucks, you say it to all the breweries, don't you? Yes. You got a future in politics, you know that? You probably get that a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, Scott, Scotty, baby, uh, let's, uh, let's delve right in here. So tell me a little bit about uh, what you do as the Ontario Craft Brewing President. What's, what's your day to day? Well, my primary job is to sample as many beers of as many members as I can in a 24 hour period. And I try to limit that to five days a week, but uh, that's pretty much the, the top job of the association president. Wow. Is, do you need a vice president? Uh, yes, actually, we do. Hmm. So, okay. If you're looking for a second opinion, I, I know a guy. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Your plate pretty full right now mm -hmm. uh, at the old uh, OCB. Speaking of which, what does OCB stand for? Ontario Craft Brewers. And you can add association at the end if you like. Why didn't it get like an A? Because it doesn't roll off the tongue as much, I guess. OCBA? Well, it used to be OSBA, Ontario Small Brewers Association. It does make it sound kind of Canadian. You're like, OCBA? No? Yeah. I love that idea. You're well, a marketer. If I'm not going to be your vice president, I can be your marketing OC -B -E -H. guy. OCBEH. Yeah. Let's do it. I think we're onto something. Cheers. This is great, guys. Love that idea. Yeah. I really thought coming here was going to be a waste of time, but that was a great idea. Uh, what would you say it is you actually do? Well, as much as I do love to uh, sample the product, uh, really what we're trying to do with the Ontario Craft Brewers Association, and I have to give a big shout out to John Hay, the, uh, the original president of the association. Cheers to John. Oh, John formed Johnny. the association back in 2003, and uh, when he retired, I, I took over. Uh, big shoes to fill. But really, uh, what you're looking at is trying to be that uh, galvanizing force for the, uh, for the industry, for the membership, in areas like uh, advocacy with uh, the government, uh, trying to put together programs and services that uh, would benefit uh, all of the brewers. And there's a number of other things, but just like any association, you're trying to uh, really add value to uh, your members to help them grow their business. So... Do you mind if I have another sip? I'll allow it. We run a tight ship here at... Between Two Fermenters, name of the show. That's fresh. Well, it's fresh from the brewery this morning. We've only started right. packaging this, but uh, hours ago, well. What were you just looking at? Uh, my arm. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, nothing gets past this guy, huh? He's mm -hmm. <laughs> your sharpest attack. 
so one of the many things that you're working with with your full plate at the, uh, the old OCBA, <laughs> it's already catching on. Did you mm -hmm. notice that? Uh, you got a 10-year strategic plan coming up here. Uh, it includes this year, so I've thumbed through it a bit. Uh, I gotta say, a lot of thought went into this, it looks like. Uh, a lot of pictures of people with beards and mustaches, so it's pretty on brand for the OCB. I'm appreciating that. Um, pretty thorough. What, what can you tell us about this 10-year uh, strategic plan you have for us? Well, a strategic plan by nature is very high level. So when you say it includes this year, mm -hmm. technically it does, but it doesn't. It really kind of outlines the six strategic pillars that uh, we feel are important that we need to address over the next 10 years. Reflexes of a cat. Cat wow. with thumbs. So. I hope there's hand guards on all the machinery at Great Lakes. They don't let me buy the machines. Uh, it's just, it's, I'm a liability. That's why I'm here. Between these two fermenters. Now, how many breweries have you visited? Do you have a checklist? Do you have like a... I haven't kept an actual count, but I'm going to say it's between 50 and 60 at this point. And uh, given we have 91 members, I need to get to the other 31 ASAP. Now we're going to jump into some rapid fire questions here for you. I've prepared. Fire away. Who's the best brewery in the OCB? All of them. The correct answer was GLB, but I'll allow it. Who's the worst brewery in the OCB? None of them. You're good at this. What's your favorite Great Lakes Brewery brand beer? Well, I'd have to believe this uh, one that I sampled this morning, which is fresh off the line, as you indicated. Uh, they're all good, but this one certainly has a unique, crisp taste that just uh, really floats on the palate. You have a future in politics, so, you know, if this doesn't work out, you're pretty good at this. How many breweries are there currently in the OCB? 91. How many breweries are there currently within the province? Independent breweries? 250. What's that with, includes brew pubs. What's with those other guys? How are you going to get them on board? Well, that's the number one job, and I don't have time to answer that right now, but uh, we need to visit them well, all. Can't answer that with a rapid fire? Well, <laughs> it's not a three-word answer. You said I had a future in politics. Give me one second. We have a great value proposition, and we'll be talking to you soon. The pointing at the camera works very well in Does politics. Does it? I've looked, okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of synonymous with being in a poli you know, politics. You just point at the camera. Rapid fire, in rapid fire. Ways. Like, it's just always pointing at a camera and saying something. So I think, like I said, you're a natural. I don't think he knows you what rapid that. fire means. Go ahead. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, are you related to Richard Simmons? Thankfully, no. Are you related to Gene Simmons? I wish I was. He signed my birth certificate. Gene Simmons signed your birth certificate, huh? Yeah, I met him at a private function, showed him my birth certificate. He said, that's cool, and he signed it. That's crazy. I carry my birth certificate around as well, all the time. I don't have a response to that. What's the best shopping experience for a consumer within the province? Beer store, LCBO, uh, grocery now? That's a great question, and I would say all three with an asterisk. That's, uh, I agree with you there. I was at my local no frills, or <laughs> some frills, as we like to call it. That said, in independent area. stores for craft breweries would be very nice, and we're working on it. Whoa, you just jumped right. I was going to ask you that question. You know, we got wine racks. How long until we have beer racks? Well, that depends on the June election and how good I am at advocating on your collective behalf over the next uh, couple of years. Scott, Scott Simmons, Scotty, I'd like to thank you for coming down here be to, between two fermenters. My pleasure. For what has clearly been the best interview we've had to date of all the interviews I've done on this show so far. I hope you'll tune in next, uh, next installment. One of my guests is the Drunk Pokeroo, the beer writer, uh, as well as chip enthusiast. Now, in the meantime, remember to uh, keep it craft, and more importantly, keep tipping that glass in the right direction, which is toward your mouth. This is Alex from GLB, uh, brewed for you, Ontario, uh, hashtag fresh GLB, so on and so forth. I'm needed at Bryden's, if anybody asks, Peter specifically, um, I'm delivering beer, okay? Now we're waiting. OCB, eh?